Well, at the risk of sounding like the fun police here, scooters, in fact, are banned from Denver sidewalks. Not that you would ever know that. It doesn't feel like anything has changed since the ban took effect in August. Sometimes that amounts to an annoyance. Sometimes, though, you end up like the subject of our next story, unable to get around because some kid ran into him on the 16th Street Mall. Tonight, he's speaking exclusively with Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski. Edna Day relies on Denver sidewalks to get around. If I don't have my chair, I'm stuck in bed. He's used to weaving through people. Get around those obstacles here. It says scooters have created a new obstacle. It's a nuisance. It's an outright nuisance. More than a nuisance, Nade is now dealing with a badly damaged wheelchair. So that's why this is all bent in and that's all tracking wrong. He says a scooter on the sidewalk slammed into his wheelchair earlier this month. So the collision occurred with the chair at this point here. He says it happened right here on the 16th Street Mall, not far from the Denver Pavilions. A scooter just like this, he says, came out of nowhere. And it was this guy on the scooter and he looks at me and he's like, oh, just kind of has this bewildered look on his face. City rules ban scooters from sidewalks and on the 16th Street Mall. Signs warn users not to ride on the mall. But our cameras still caught plenty of rule breakers. Denver police officers have written zero citations for scooting on the mall. They tell us they are still educating people on the new rules city council passed this summer. I'd like to know why the city still lets them permit and operate when they're not willing to follow with the rules the city set up. What's worse, Nade says, is the guy on the scooter took off. This person that hit me is not accountable for his actions. And I'm left with the bill right now. Nade says this is a photo of the person who hit him. Notice the scooter is clearly on the sidewalk. He shared it with us from a nearby business's surveillance camera. There is video, but police have not released it. They don't drive with any respect. For Nade, he wants accountability for the scooter craze taking over Denver. To hopefully get an effective change made. Uh, I don't know how else to bring attention to this problem. In Denver, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Mm.